It's George DeCosta from the Hunting Griff. We're at the, our little gun dog ranch here in Idaho. You can see our ranch back there for training for uh, duck searches and upland game. I'm getting some questions about uh, cooling your dog down and watering, watering your dog. We're getting close to summer now, so it's going to warm up. A lot of people are training their dogs for tests or just training on the off season. Let me first say there's a lot of dogs that have a real high desire to go after birds and they don't want to take water. They'd rather hunt. They'll actually overheat themselves and, and they could actually kill themselves going too long and overheating without being hydrated. It's our job as their partners out there in the fields to make sure they stay hydrated and they stay cool. So I'm gonna go over a couple things here real quickly. Um, first of all, to cool your dog down, and I do that a lot in the field, don't pour water over the back of your dog. That actually makes it worse. It puts a blanket on the dog. What, what you should do if your dog's getting hotter, and even before your dog's getting hot, there's a few places that you should cool your dog down. One is, if you look right here, the ears have got the skin showing. I put water, I protect their ears so that their ears don't get water inside of them. And then I pour water over the skin part of their ear. I'll also put water in my hand and put it on their under, under their armpits, underneath their, their legs where, the, where there's a lot of skin. Again, that cools off and cools them down and on their stomach. So, you know, the best place to put it is on their ears, on their stomach, in their armpits, and on a male, put it on his testicles because when you put it on his testicles, they cool down. You don't want, again, you don't want to pour it over the top of the dog. Um, I do that often. The other thing is when a dog retrieves a bird to you, clean its mouth out right, right away and get some liquid in its mouth to get those feathers. It'll dry out their mouth and, again, dehydrate them. The other thing you do is to make sure your dog will take water. Again, a lot of dogs in the fields don't want to take a lot of water. They're hyped up and they just want to hunt. There's a pocket in a dog's mouth that's at the back of their mouth, and I'm going to show you kind of on my mouth, where you can stick a squirt bottle. We're talking about right here between the teeth and the cheek. Right in there. Dog's going to, right here, all my dogs have been taught to take water whenever I, whenever I tell them to take water. I'll call them during, during their field work. There's a couple of bottles you can use. You can use this type with the Gatorade, or you can use just a, um, a regular squeeze bottle that you buy in the store right here. I use them both. I usually have these for long hunts. Um, but what you do is you grab the, grab the dog by, by its muzzle, and at first the dog won't want to do that and you just teach it that it needs to and you pour it in that socket. Once you start pouring it in that socket, it'll start drinking. Coda. Coda. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to turn around so you can see the other side. Whoa, CK. Coda, come. 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 So I'm going to grab her head, muzzle. Coda, whoa, CK. And I'm going to put it, you can even see she's starting to drink already. I'm going to put it right there. Good girl and she's gonna drink. Now this is a little puppy. See, he knows what to do. I'm gonna grab it, pull his, and he's drinking. Again, it's right here that you're putting it in. Um, I'm gonna do one more, grab it right here, pull it up, so you can see her start to drink. Put it right in there. I'll do the puppy from the other side so you can see. Although he sees, okay, whoa. Actually, I'm right-handed, so I use my right hand. Come here, come here, test some water. There you go. You can see him drinking. Good boy. Good boy. I water my dogs a lot in the field. A lot. It's better to overhydrate your dogs than to have them dehydrated. So again, it's our responsibility as our companions to these dogs that work the field hard for us to keep them hydrated and uh, keep, them, keep them cool as, as much as possible. Hope that made sense to you. Hope you enjoyed the video and you got some tips. Thanks for watching.